Hello everybody, Sifri again, and today I will be playing Rassen. The game is a auto butler card game. So what that means is that my character is gonna be attacking on his own while I, you know, um, play cards to buff up the stats, but otherwise he will be attacking on his own in return. And we're gonna explain here in a moment. Let's delete the slot. This was my testing slot. This was me. Uh, yes, deleted. This was me testing the game. And uh, yeah, adventure mode is not a joke, by the way. I think I should go journey to showcase the game because... The game is not that easy. <laughs> uh, but now let's go adventure mode. Let's go adventure mode. We're gonna make it. I'm pretty sure other people might be better at this. But you know, my testing runs were pretty fail. On the third day of the th uh, thund Sundering, the gods left the earth. And with them, our last hopes. Okay. Our whole world was engulfed in by the relentless tidal waves. The collapsing ground swallowed the old cities in stone. And the spirits out of control were wreaking havoc. What? What? But then the game. Yeah. We can pause on that. They came and skip whatever was previous to this. The four elemental spirits to preserve us from the wrath of nature. The grand, uh, the grand spirit of balance who rules from the earth and sky. Wait, pre preserve, roof? preserve, preserve. I guess preserve. And the protectors, guardians, and heralds of the remaining humans. Okay, story mode. With the peace restored, with peace restored, thus begun the age of lost knowledge and rebuilding. What? How can they rebuild and also lose the knowledge? How did this happen in peace times? But history tends to repeat itself. Yeah, obviously, if you if if if, <laughs> if you lose the knowledge, then yes. <laughs> How? Anyway, let's go on. My priest is just more slowly walking towards uh, this. Pretty chillax. I guess everything is actually better than it's Shim to. Oh, ancient protectors, please hear our prayers. The spirits have become mad and are rampaging through the lands. Too late. There is no hope. Here I am. Blaze be the old ones. My prayers have been heard. <laughs> Little cringe. Let's go on. One shot the opponent, by the way. He who bears the power to banish those who strayed. It is you. It is the really you. What is happening here? What is the strange force that pulls me out of my sleep to find our temple being desecrated by corrupted spirits? I I don't know. Spirits have started attacking our village recently, and I heard that the same thing was happening in the other neighboring areas. That's really strange. Spirits are used to play trickster games, but most of them would not attack humans without reason, let alone launch a coordinated assault. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. You protectors have always looked after the relations between humans and spirits, and I don't think anyone else would be better suited to find out what's happening. You should probably start your investigations in the water plains. Spirits seem to be less vehement in this area, and you still don't have recovered all your strength. Okay, boss. Beware, though. You can come back and rest here anytime you want, but no matter how many spirits you purify and cast away, I'm sure others will soon replace them until you take care of what is driving them to act so violently. Okay? You should... Also take care of your summoning cards before leaving. Yeah, that create a deck. And um, yeah, let's let's go. Let's create the deck. Now here are the starting cards. I want to really explain here real quickly that uh, all these cards do something specific that is permanent. So this thing, for example, plus 10% damage is permanent. If I use this in a fight, then my damage will be up by 10% forever. So let's go with those. Let's also go for healing as that is important. And I would say we build a defensive build in general. Uh, normally I'm a full-on offensive build type of deal guy. But the thing is that um, you really need to have defense in this game to survive. Because you will slowly get drained and die. And defensive things are also permanent. So for example, this gives two temporary armor, it says. Uh, temporary armor means barrier. So this thing is as if it's giving you two barrier points every time you use it. So after you use it, I guess... Uh, 50 times you will have in every single fight 100 barrier when you start the fight and the same goes with evasion if you use this 100 times you will have 100 uh, percent evasion in the start of every fight so um, yeah th those are pretty decent by the way all of these go down so if you evade an attack evasion goes down so you will see you will see you will see almost forgot take this energy orb it will absorb the essence of the spirit and you'll cleanse and grant you a chance to restore yourself once full let's go okay let's go with this you can click on the arrow on the bottom and hide show your stats you can select level of spirits here and increase after every fight. The scars will also progress during fights and increase the level of enemies every time you filled up. 
Okay, here, uh, these are the stats, as the, uh, the game just explained, and these are permanent. So let's go into fight, and I will explain in the fight. Uh, by the way, here, I will restart this run in a moment, because if you pause here, you see this timer go up. This is the difficulty timer, and even when you pause, the difficulty timer goes up. I don't know if this is a bug or not, but um, yeah, we, we I will have to explain here what's happening, and then we will restart, as this <laughs> is definitely not balanced. So, as I was saying, these cards are permanent. Every time I use one of these cards, for example, damage, I will... First of all, let's begin with the whole interface. These are my stats. Okay, this is how much key I have. Key is the resource that it's called in this game. I have six right now. The cards cost key here at the top left. You can see 10 key this, 10 key this, 15 key this. And if I use this card, two things are happening. First of all, I use the key and I get the stats associated to it. And the second thing that happens is I get a little barrier that lasts for maybe a second and then that means that i take half damage for one second so what that means is i try to use my cards whenever i'm about to get hit or whenever i think the opponent might hit us so um, that i also get the shield alongside the stat bonuses and then the other thing i can do is right click on a card to throw it away as you just saw to gain three key and then by just get more key for it and use other cards for this reason by the way as you see difficulty increased just now and uh, yeah, the last thing I can do is uh, press on the deck to draw a card for 5 key. As you saw, we just draw a card. And I can just throw these away and use this. By the way, I've paused here because I want to explain. But normally, I will not be pausing in this game like at all ever. And um, over here at the left, you see like a red bar filling up. This is my ultimate. And what this does is if you use a bunch of cards, this fills up. And then you strike a bunch of times really quickly. And that's it pretty much. I mean, it's not extremely quick. It's instead of attacking once every, I don't know, three seconds, you attack once every second. And it's a double strike too. So let's go quit here. And let's run into this again. It says that I'm playing four minutes. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I just read this. And let's go into the fight, this time without pausing, as we don't want to make the game harder for no reason whatsoever. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, it's an attack faster. We instantly start with a hard opponent. <laughs> Put away the health, as I'm not going to use it. And um, instantly go for... Ah, I, I think I was able to play the... Four. I was not able to play the damage, but I got the defense. So from here on out, I will always start with two shields, pretty much. For the rest of this run. We will, we will not throw away anything. It's two opponents this time, two small opponents. We'll go for the armor. I obviously used it on an, at a non-good time. I don't think it matters. Also gonna go for damage here when he's about to attack us. I think, yep, I synchronized that. Throw away this attack. Maybe should have thrown away the shield, the the other one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing I think they wouldn't would be nice if they changed. By the way, this game is a demo and you can play it right now. I'm not sure if the moment I upload this, the demo is done, but I'm pretty sure it is still there, so you can download it right away. Hello there! Hi. You seem to be in a hurry, on your way to saving the world, I guess. But listen, I have things that might ought, ought actually be of some interest to you. Charms that may assist you on your journey. I would mention, however, that they are very brittle, should you get rusted a bit and too hard, and they might, they might break. I have never been, seen this break. Thankfully, I'm constantly renewing my stock, so don't worry too much about it. I tend to move a lot through, so, though, so don't expect to always find me in the same place. What do you want to exchange? Oh, nothing really. What good is a merchant that charges nothing for its service, you might ask? Well, let's say that the journey of helping others is the only payment I need. As strange as it may seem, in a world like ours, care to take a look? We got um, Charm of Wealth, never start to fight resourceless. I guess this gives us more starting chi. Uh, Charm of Fortitude, enlarge your stats, enlarge your stats. I, I don't know what this is. And Charm of Good Fortune, let the key flow. I guess this gives us double key. Um, let's go with maybe double key. I hate when games don't just straight up tell you what they do, like classic uh, Binding of Isaac, man. But no, I, I disagree. I, I don't like when charms and uh, things don't explain what they do. But YOLO, let's take the Charm of Good Fortune and hope it is actually key regen. Well, I hope this might help. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> walkity walkity. <laughs> let's go to fight. I, I'm targeting this and this. I, I'm targeting cards in general. This fight is extremely hard. We're not going to go there. So let's just start going around. Maybe I should go here at the top first. I think we're gonna be building up our armor and evasion. Uh, let's throw. Let's not. Actually, do we get. Yeah, every second key pip is a double pip. So we get one, then two, then one, then two, then one, then two. Okay, this guy's toast. Shielded, very nice. That's good damage. Not the right time though. I have my evasion ready. I have my everything ready actually. I have 30 key anyway. Oh. I'm going defensive first and offensive. Uh, defense first and offense second. 
In my opinion, it's a bit more important to have a bunch of defense and evasion and damage will come along later. Because um, this thing going up slowly still goes slower up. Whoa. This going up slowly still goes slower than blasting through a fight. Okay, I want to use a heal before this fight ends. Nice. I should have thrown away the right one to be able to, the left uh, card to be able to quickly use the right card. In general, I would like, if at the end of the fights we had like one second to just use whatever key we have remaining. Instead of instantly, you know, throwing us into the next fight. Let's throw this away and uh, use this. We're taking a bit of damage here. Should have a shield. Nice, I had a shield in time. Oh, that was not in time though. Whoop, shield. Nice, shielded in time. I'm doing 10 damage. Shielded in time, very nice. And hopefully we get the armor. I was not able to get the armor, but it's okay. I'm spamming clicks, by the way. <laughs> Every time I find this. We have 5% on this. I'm not sure we're gonna fill this completely. I'm not sure how you fill this in general. I, I mean, it said that it's from the spirits, but it feels like it's from the key remaining. Okay, I got hit without any shield up. Shielded, nice. So every two of our attacks, he attacks once, pretty much. I'm slow playing this as much as possible. As I said, I'm okay with this, filling up the difficulty levels. I'm not okay with us rushing through fights. So especially if I get like evasion to 50 or 60 or 100, it will take so little damage that it won't matter what opponents do. Nice, shielded. Let's continue with the buffs. As you saw, we just got my ultimate. Now we have 33 keys, so let's use everything real quick before, uh, you know, the opponent dies. I should not have healed there at the end. Let's go with a bit more armor instead of anything else. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. I should have thrown one of the two away to use the other. In general, you need to pay attention when, when the fight's about to end. Hurt, you, hurt yourself to get key. Now I also get the chance to, ch to change my deck. Lose 20 HP and get 20 key. Um, I think this is actually worth it for what we're going with. Because uh, by doing this, I expedite how fast I build up my my stats. So let's take this and throw away... What should we throw away? I think I would throw away one damage. Yeah, let's go like this. Let's go here. Let's fight. 200% damage already. One... No, I evaded. That was like, as you saw, we lost like 5% evasion there. Nice. I'm full heal right now, but I'm gonna... Oh no, I'm not gonna. Let's start using my cards. Try to use the evasion there at the end. I'm not sure if I was fast enough. 15 evasion, 22 defense is decent. As I said, defense is barrier pretty much. Two of these. This is a hard fight in general. I'm gonna keep my healing here. Okay, I'm not sure I shielded anything. Okay, I think I shielded everything. Oh, that was a big mistake. Use everything here. At the end of the day, you lose, losing 20 key for uh, building up my stats is definitely worth it. I think I'm gonna throw something away. Lost too much life there for no reason. Okay, I used the health at the end too. Nice, 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 nice. We're going very well. I'm not using the ultimate because, as I said, I want to slow play every single fight to build up my character. <laughs> evade, nice. We only lost 2% evasion there. Seems like evasion also works based on what you actually, you know, evade. So you lose percentage based on what you actually evade. Also, there seems to be a bug that if you throw away a card instead of using it, the game does not give you another card in hand. I don't know why this is... As you see, I'm spamming the cards and I'm gaining one card after the other. Like, the moment I press a card, I get a new card. But uh, the, same, the same doesn't go for if I throw away a card. If I throw away a card, the game's like, yup, you throw away a card, now you're just gonna wait, you're not gonna get anything new. Makes sense, because then it would be as if I'm using the throwaway mechanic to... You know, draw a new card while also gaining 3 energy. <laughs> well, if I use a card, I'm already using a card, so... I have really decent stats. 26% defense evasion here. 
We are building up for a good run. Might be the best run I had yet. Not good uses there of my defenses. Nice. Let yourself to get a car. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, I got two heals on the ready. In general, heal is really important. Every time I've died, it was because I didn't have enough life. Makes sense, right? I'm waiting here for the cards to appear. I'm gonna slowly start playing one by one every card to have a permanent shield on me. I think evasion is a bit more important than anything else. Because that, the uh, chance to take literally zero is better than just blocking, you know, a hit. Let's throw this away. Not guys toast. Evasion, evasion. Throw away one armor to get armor. Maybe heal. I was not able to heal, but we healed a bit at the end of the fight. And at this point, I have half my life and we are 16% on this water thing. Let's go get a new card. Armor and armor. Probably one of the armors. Hit. Okay, we evaded both of those attacks. Nice shield. Shield, nice. Um, as I said, oh, the next incoming fight is going to be a bit dangerous. Nice shield. We're gonna build up our health here a bit. Because oh, we lost life for no reason. I'm at 46 energy here. I see. Still wanna play this correctly. Avoided both of those hits. I think it's a good chance to use my ultimate. Which is just gonna yeah, super strike him. That's what it does. It doesn't do anything more. It, I don't know if you guys expected something more insane. But it's not that it's trash. It's pretty decent, actually. Trying to draw a heal. Nice, I drew a heal. Let's throw this away to use this and then maybe draw a heal. Nope, I drew damage. Use the damage. Ah, I drew a heal at the end. But it's okay, we're pretty good here. We have above half of our health. And we got armor level 2, which is for 15, we gain 3 armor. So, efficiency-wise, this is the same as this. Oh, no, it's not. No, 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 it's not. It's not. It's, it's definitely not. Uh, let's throw away one more damage, I would say. And let's go with even more armor. I think we'll just throw away one armor and keep the damage up. Yeah, let's, let's keep the damage up. Let's keep the damage at four. Let's have just one better armor in this. I don't need to go overboard in defense. Let's try to pick up this card. Hope it's not going to one-shot us. I'm not sure if the red land or the green land is safer. Um, yeah, I mean, that's literally the problem. I don't know which of these two lands is easier. But we're gonna go into... Blue. Let's try maybe green land first. I don't know. Green always seems like poison to me. Okay, let's continue. Let's heal up a bit. And general healing is really important. This game, as I said, what does this guy increase all the damage of all enemies? Okay, my dude. Chillax. Trying to synchronize here. I have 54 armor. So we're not going to get damaged in this fight at all. So this is a very good chance to start throwing away all the heals. And going for all the buffs. Get yourself to gain chi. YOLO. Use all the cards that happen to drop. Nice, 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 nice. We lost a bit of life there because... Ooh, what is this? Darkness is here. I guess we fight this. And then go over here, fight this, down this, down, down, go to this black merchant and then try to go over like this. Oh no, this path is the fast one. Well, let's first see how f easy or hard this is. I'm gonna get a new card. Okay, this seems like an easy fight. I hope I'm not wrong about this. I mean, it does seem like an easy fight. Shielded. I don't know what this red symbol is, by the way. I have 45 evasion. I'm insanely powerful. Yeah, we get 18 shield from... It hurts? What are you talking about, man? It hurts! My brother died! <laughs> Let's continue buffing stats. Defense. Evasion. Away damage. Heal. Uh, heal. Heal. I would say heal. And then armor. Armor 2. Oh, we lose a bit of life there. Armor. I think I was fast enough to use the damage there. At the very end, you have to really quickly throw away one of the two cards and use the other one. Destroy card to get chi key. I love it. I'm saying key because it's not with Q. 
If it was with Q, I would say Chi. But now that it's with K, I'm gonna say Key. Destroy a card to get a key. And this is really good because if you don't have a card in hand, you, like when you use a card, you draw a card. So you can use this, throw away one of the cards in your hand randomly, and then just, just spam using whatever comes along. So let's throw away one more defense. As I do have the super defense. Or actually throw away one evasion. Because we're, we're closing into, you know, maxing evasion. So actually, there is no maxing evasion. What am I talking about? Yeah, this comes definitely along. This goes away. This comes along. There is no dodging evasion in this. Like, you can go max evasion in this game. Uh, let's also go pick up this card. Blink. My, I, I'm Blink Master. <laughs> You're here. 22 on difficulty. We can go downwards and see what this guy gives us. Oh, this is an easy fight. Maybe after you go and change your cards up, you get easier fights for a moment. Seems to be the case. I mean, easier is, easier is what I say, but it might not be true. Block damage and it's 8. Uh, let's continue gaining evasion. Oh, how much damage did this get? 31 damage! I wasn't fast enough in using all my cards. Once again. Okay, these things have become dangerous. Uh, I think there is a mechanic. If I fight this, maybe I get difficulty scaling down. Whoa, we're dead. This is over. We're dead, we're dead. This is this is death sentence. I'm guaranteeing you we're dead. Yeah, we're gonna die here. Ho oh, ho ho ho. There is no chance we're surviving this. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I, I cannot save no. It's done. Yeah, um that fight I have never ever beaten it. So um you know what? We're just gonna do another one. It's not my fault. I mean, I, I have done this thing the same. It's it's 20 minutes, isn't it? 20 minutes? Yeah. Do you remember at the start of this run where uh, the save file was 20 minutes long? This is literally how I died previously when I tried to do this. It uh, seems like, like, flame is death. We don't go into flame path at all. And our merchant is down here and the black merchant is over here. Can I, re can I re reconfigure this? Yes, I mean, I didn't even change the deck here. Oh man, we're from the beginning again. Should I go full on damage? Let's try a full on damage run. And if at the end of the day we I don't win, then I don't care. Like, let's go with don't hurt yourself. Let's throw these out. I don't think it's really important for me to every time be winning every single thing. So I'm just gonna do a normal human run. Because I'm a normal human. Wait, how? Oh, it's down here. <laughs> it's down there. I think attack speed is the most non-important one, so let's go with this. Let's go full on damage and let's see how this goes. You know, just for people who want to see that too. 27% on this. Oh, I changed up where they are. We're going to just run through them and maybe die in the flame area. I don't care. Well, it's going to be low level on, on this anyway. Let's throw this away, get this, throw this away. And get this one too and we're done. I threw away the heart and I forgot that. You throw away a card, you don't win your card. Destroy card to gain key, health, damage. As you see, that's the reason why that card is good. Because the moment you use it, you can just use a bunch of cards and draw a bunch of cards. So at the end of the day, it actually making you throw away a card doesn't really do anything. I think I used it fast enough. I'm not sure. Let's go to the black merchant. To the white merchant. Oh. Red X. Tried to shield there before I got hit. Nice. We got two heals, that's not useful. One heal, another heal, are you kidding me? Oh, I, I spammed whatever I could there. Let's go downward. We're gonna go to the seller on the left. Let's see what the black merchant is selling. Or, or gifting, I guess. Was that a crit right away? We are only missing three life. I can throw away the heal here. Speed up, speed up. Critics. Okay, I gotta heal here before we end this fight. Make sure we're full life. And maybe I use the heal fast enough or not. Who knows? So 31%. I'm not gonna go to the healing shrine now that we have access to it. What is the Ooh, a train? Hello, traveler. Are you reminding me of someone I recently met? Oh, I see what you mean. Fortunately, I can sense that you got nothing from my brethren. You see, I don't want to interfere with his affairs. I have things where that would certainly be very interesting for an adventurer like you. Take a good look at them. They have their own spice. Oh, wait. So this guy would do something else if I had the other buff. 
Charm of costly strength. Charm of double profit. Charm of fruitful poetry. Costly strength. Double profit. Let's go costly strength. For well, I hope you will be wholly satisfied with my trinkets. And if you're not happy with what you got, worry not. All you have to do in order to get rid of them is to die. <laughs> okay, I like how he's very simple about it. We just have to die, man. Chill. Let's see, is this a hard fight? No, it's not. What is this? Double? Double, but they cost five more. Okay, so this is actually worth it. So they cost double, but they give you... They cost... No, they don't cost double. They cost five more, but they give you double the effect. So this is definitely worth it. Yeah, 20% on this damage roll. Come on. Although, yeah, it feels worse, but it is worth it. Like, efficiency-wise, it's definitely worth it. So this is for the healing for 15, for example. That didn't first hit us. Destroy a card to get key. No. No. I, I, I tried to spam there at the end. Okay, we got a bunch of... Maybe the key that is at the end left is what fills this up. Let's see, now that I have a trinket from the other guys, this guy gonna give us one? Said you already made a deal with my brother, I can sense it. Sadly, that means I can't let you take anything from now. I don't want the chumps mingling with each other and risk having some unpleasant effects. I see you're on- Why? Why? Dev, my opinion, let people get broken. Let people become OP, man. Don't nerf players just because they chose something. Don't do that. My personal opinion, do not make people have decisions that are, are you gonna go this powerful on this side or this powerful on that side? Just leave people do what they want. My opinion, my opinion. Let's go with the image. Have some healings here on the ready. I like how I'm attacking pretty often. Uh, we're gonna heal here at the end. Throw away the speed, come on. I don't think I drank the damage fast enough. I feel like I feel like the key that I amass at the end does not actually help. Okay, still easy opponents. Strike hard to get key. Yep, now we're just gonna spam whatever it comes. Let's go here. Boop, 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 bro, boop. Look at the left. Look at the left. We got the combo, man. We got the combo. This is insane. Okay, now we're winning. Now we're winning. Just play the gamble and whatever you draw, just spawn whatever you draw all the time. And then and then arrive at this point. <laughs> and then arrive at this point. I can gamble. I can draw the gamble. No, I did not draw the gamble. <laughs> I tried to draw the gamble though. Okay, we're gonna be building up insanely fast. Now that I found this combo, oh we're winning. We're winning. This is over. I mean we can still die, don't get me wrong. But this is a win build. As long as I draw the key card. And I definitely don't want to gamble cards away and draw cards away. If if at some fight I get the key card, then so be it. Otherwise, I just play whatever I get. 310% damage. Look at this. I'm attacking three times and he's attacking once. I will become Death Incarnate. Evade level 2. 30 energy because it cast twice. Wait, so this is... Oh, it's normally 20 energy. Oh, so it's 50% higher cost, but double cast. Nice, nice, nice. So good to know. So this thing now, uh, is it worth it? Plus, this is plus two energy. Uh, this is plus two evasion for, I would assume, 21 key. Two evasion for 21 key or four evasion for 20? I think four evasion for 20 is really good. First of all, critics, I think, is not really that needed anymore. These two are always going to be needed. Let's start building up some evasion. Hurt yourself to get key. This is gonna do 40 damage to us to give us 40 key. This is really dangerous. Although 40 damage for 40 key and then heal is 40 healing for 15 key. If I use this, then I can chain into each other really quickly. Do I want this? It's really dangerous. If I don't draw the heal, that is. If I draw the heal, it's good. If I draw the heal, it's good. I think it's too dangerous. Let's go with what I have right now. Do I even want the evasion? Or evasion for 3D key? Sounds nice. I mean, I can just throw it away if I need to. Let's go this path. 3D9 there. Critics speed. Critics is at 50% almost. I really need to use some cards whenever I'm about to get hit. Throw this away. 
Nice, we found the healing. No, 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 don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I have 100. Let's go healing. Oh, I have to fight for the heal. Okay, we're here. Very nice. Pray the vision. I'm not going to use it this fight. Oh, we're about to die. Aren't we? Oh, yeah, we're about to die. Oh, yeah, we're about to die. What is this guy? Ign ignores evade. Good thing I am not invested in invading. Whoa, that was nice. Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Whatever I have time to. Uh, whatever I had time to was sp spawning. I think I healed this midge. 87 life. 44%. Yeah, that's good. Get a new card. Heal 20, heal 20. And throw one of these away. I can actually throw two of these away. Speed up. Okay. I'm gonna use the heal at the very end. Which is after this guy fights. Throw this away. Got the healing, and I'm pretty good. At the very at the end of each fight, I'm healing like a smidge. I'm not sure the evasion is gonna help us at all. I'm still at 0% evasion. It's a bit too expensive for my liking. And in general, the heal being insane is already broken enough for me. By the way, I see a pretty dangerous fight coming in. Let's go. Combo happened. 72 energy. Let's just drink whatever. Use everything. Use everything. Everything. He's dead. Did I even get evasion out of this? If I didn't get evasion, I think the time has come to throw evasion away. What is this? Weak draw. Seven. Seven because it's... Yeah, because it's 50% more costly. So now we know for a fact that this does not cost 15, but cost 20... 21 or something. 22. Uh, damage divided by two. You're at the top. Your damage... Your damage are halved for three turns. Get three cards. No... This, uh, nah, nah. I do the, I do have damage and draw three cards uh, for seven, and then the three cards I draw. I mean, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be six cards, but it's gonna be three cards, and I can throw away the two of them to gain the energy back. So if this does not have the double effect for costing seven, it would be good because for five I would draw three cards, throw the two away to get six back, and then use the third one pretty much. And then from the third one, I will start drawing things. I would do half damage, but nah, 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 nah. I think it's uh, it's not that. Oh, I should have thrown away the evasion. No. Uh, let's go this path. Let's let's fight. Yeah, let's fight this fight, which has killed us a bunch of times. Or at least open it up so that I'm ready for when the time comes to actually use it. I still have not used evasion once. <laughs> let's uh, let's throw the evasion away. Let's use the heal before this guy dies. Yeah, I was fast enough on using at least two cards here. We are very powerful. And I need to throw the evasion away. Critics, damage, damage. 66, 33. And he's toast. I think I was fast enough on using the damage. This belt is a lot better. There is a black goo of death. In distraction. Okay, this is a harder fight than previous one. Okay, we took two hits. That's okay. First opponent die. Second opponent die. I wasn't fast enough to heal, but we we're full life. As long as we're full life, I will most likely be able to beat the next fight. Throw one speed away. Go for the speed there. Throw one heal away. Prepare for the heal. Got the heal. Full life. Okay, I think we're, we could. We should be able to win this fight. This time. It's the triple big guys. Speed and critics. I don't like what we have drawn. As you saw, I tried to block, but wasn't good enough at it. Come on, man. Oh, come on! Imagine dying here. Oh, got him. Oh, I panicked a bit. I'm gonna go to healing shrine now. This was not an easy fight. Heal 2 plus 25 for 15. This is already pre-costed. Nice. Now I have a 15 heal 50. Okay, throw away the weight, bring the heal in. Um... I'm not sure what this fight is. Let's go to the easy fights. We know for a fact that these are easy fights. Heal 20. Throw away the speed. Before that guy dies, heal a bit. I wasn't fast enough on the second one. I mean, it's not my fault how the game plays. I think something again appeared on the map. Damage up. Damage up. Damage up. Last we didn't heal. 
something appeared, but I didn't see... Oh, this appeared. So we got two black specks on the map right now. Let's go on the healing shrine. Plus away, damage. Critics. We're very close to getting 100% on critics. We're 7 6. If I get 100% on crits, obviously I will um, remove the critics from the bo from the deck. What is this poison guy? Well, poison, poison on poison, he's dead. Am I gonna heal here a bit or what? Or if we do, okay, we did heal. Let's try to go downwards this path and then maybe to the left. Could also try to go to the right. I don't know what the question mark is. Maybe I should go check the question. Oh, one, one guy that does poison. Nice. I knew he would instantly die. That's why I threw away instantly my cards and see what I get. What is this guy? Why do these guys have all balls flying around them? The big heal throws away. Maybe I should not have he uh, used the heal instantly there. Let's go. Let's go. Combo. Before the before the fight runs off. No, let's go. Ah, at least I got a bunch of energy here. I think that energy is expanding, powers up my thing. Speed 2, plus 2 speed for 15, which is pre costed already. Nice, we got a really good card. Okay, we throw away one of the critics as we're very close to ending that. And um, go in this. Let's go. Uh, I want to go... Whoa, two black specs next to each other. Let's try to go to one of these black specs. I should go to this one. One, event, two. Ev yeah, let's go to the right one. Seems closer. What is this? Oh, whatever it is, it's dead. Uh, speed 2, nice. Attack, attack. I have the healing. Okay, I was able... I, I should have used more, obviously. We're, we're death incarnate at this point. What is this? Heady field. You, the protector has awoken at last. My prayers have kept the corrupted spirits away from the village thus far, but I'm afraid this would not have lasted very long. You can rest there as long as you need, and I can help you re rearrange your summoning cards if you need to. But I'm afraid that if you come back to rest another time, the spirits will take the opportunity to grow even stronger. If you want, I can also tell you more about the surrounding areas. Talk. We used to pray great water spirits in the source nearby, but they recently went mad and all lesser spirits have become aggressive. We are no match for them. We can merely keep them at bay, but you could probably do something. Maybe try reasoning the great water spirit. There is a small shrine dedicated to a local spirit southeast from here. Maybe you'll find something there to help you against the crippling powers of the great spirit. Uh, I don't really want to change my deck, by the way. As far as I know. The only thing I might want to do is put evasion 2. No, it's too expensive. Maybe put armor 3 in. As it's literally the same cost as armor 1. To start slowly building up armor. Or throwing away one more of the critics. I think that's like maybe doable. Um, nah, let's keep the deck as this right now. Let's leave. Leave the party field. So if I go here again, what is this 200%? Oh, I fully healed. Okay, got it. I fully healed in there. Let's go with the destroy card and start the chain. Start the chain card usage. Nope, I wasn't fast enough there at the end. to died. I like the trains in the background. Let's see what the black field is. Oh, humanity is doomed. Is it though? Uh, I'm, I see us going pretty well here. I don't understand how many opponents we're fighting here at the top right with what is happening. What is this? Ignores evasion. Okay. Congratulations to you, man. Ah, it's black on black. I see. Now, now, now I can actually see what is happening there in the background. It's black fidgets in front of black fidgets. And we won. What is this monstrosity? Nobody knows. Will it bring this lower? Yep, it brought the difficulty scaling lower. I see, so we chase those down to bring our difficulty lower. Yeah, well then chase them down. Let's chase down the black specs. We start with destroy card. Use as many cards as possible. And now we powered up really quick. Man, we, we are insane. We, we become too fast, too powerful. Look at this. Nothing really survives. <laughs> it's dead instantly. Let's throw away some things to maybe get speed too. I wasn't even fast enough. Look how much energy we gain. Nice, 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 nice. We have become really broken at this point. I guess we should have gone for damage the first time around too. Actually, honestly speaking, I think what carried us 
no joke, is the double use plus the heals. And, and the, the double use plus the throw away card uh, to gain uh, 15 key, uh, 20 key or whatever, how much key that thing gives us. I think those two cards are that what's carrying us, honestly. It's nothing else. Come on, use it. Nope, I wasn't fast enough. Still full health. Another spec appeared. We just destroyed the spec and the spec appeared. Go to the next spec. I'm gonna go to that spec too in a moment. Critic speed and heal. Uh oh, this is a very dangerous fight. I like how my life is... Oh, it throws away two cards. I see, so I should not <laughs> use it if I have two cards in hand. I don't need this. Let's run something better. And I can even use ultimates if I wanted to. Which I don't really care about. Damage plus. Man, a thousand plus percent damage. Speed is 75% faster than normal. Critics is still not max. <laughs> Wait, Critics is max. I, I, I used Critics and it was 76%. Okay, it does not go higher than 76% it seems. Let's go get a new card and throw away the Critics from the deck because they don't work anymore at all. Let's, let's double check. 76? Yeah, it's still 76. Okay, Critics cannot go higher. Speed? Can Speed go higher? Speed can go higher. Okay, that's good to know. So speed stays, critics go away. I'm gonna uh, transition the critics into evasion, I would say, instead of transitioning them into armor. Yeah. At least damage still is very high. Come on, spam, 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 spam. <laughs> spam, spam everything. Where's my... Oh, it's filled. How do I use that? How do I use my ultimate orb? And what exactly does it do? Dead. Next! Smack them dead next. Oh, he, he actually hit us. Okay, okay, okay. I see how it is. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. We got a bunch of stats there. And now we're going to change the deck out, but I'm going to throw away the critics. What is this? Five seconds of tranquility for 22 energy. So for 22 energy, nobody does anything. I just wait. That sounds very powerful for us. Uh, let's throw away the critics. Sounds powerful because I have a bunch of key regen anyway. Stop still fighting for 5 seconds. I, I think this is a good idea. Let's try it. And uh, let's go for evasion 2. And also normal evasion. Let's try this. I can change my deck 3 more times pretty much. And I can also change it here if I want. But this is going to respawn the enemies as far as I understand. Let's blink to this fight. Evasion 2 is here. We don't need the healing honestly. We also don't need the healing unless you... Whoa! Why did, when did I take so much damage? What happened? Just use whatever comes along. Evasion is at 6% right now. Speed still goes higher. Well, as long as speed... Go oh, we, we might die. I'm afraid. Let's go ultimate. I use the healer at the end. Whoa, death. Nice, nice, nice. We healed a, a bunch at the end. Spec goes away. Difficulty goes down. Mm, let's try to get this. Now let's try to get this. Okay, this is free damage. And also free spirit. Which is really helpful, actually. Speed 2. Speed still goes up. I should be faster at throwing away cards and stuff. Like, that seems to be the most important part here. By the way, the auto battle part of this game has become insane. We're double shotting and triple one shotting pretty much everything. Still don't know what the spirit orb does. Go pick up a new card. Have I used Tranquility even once? I'm gonna go. Let's let's go as fast as possible. Let's go 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 go. Tranquility at the end. Yeah. Buffing up my stats as much as possible. Damage a thousand four hundred. Everybody instantly died. We're gonna continue with speed here. Nice, 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 nice. The Cursed Relic that gives us double cards is broken, completely broken. Stupid. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. And we're stuck. Continue with the let's go. Let's draw a card. Bomb, spam, spam. 149 damage attacks. Like, the damage is red when I'm attacking. Critics 3. Well, that's useless. <laughs> that's completely useless. Uh, I'm not sure I want Tranquility. 
I mean, with the rest, I'm good. Like, the rest of the deck is decent. Uh, let's go for this card. Actually, are we here? I think we are here. Yeah, let's go for this card. I want to leave the question mark for later, because it might be a healing thing again. Now some... What was that? Was that a one-shot? 196. Man, we are... We are destroying everything at this point. A spec. Let's go fight the spec. Because we are difficulty 40, and honestly speaking, I think I should use the chance to build up the spec whenever I have. Tranquility! Is tranquility a good idea? We're gonna learn in a moment. Thousand damage. Tranquility seems to be a good idea, honestly. What does this do? I I'm not even able to read what those things do. That's how powerful I am. Spec away. Minus three levels on difficulty. Let's go up. Yeah, this is a joke fight. Another day in the joke office. I wanted to use the evasion, as you saw I was spamming it, but energy never built up fast enough. Speed is still going up. Man, the fact that speed is still going up seems insane to me. <laughs> if I want, I think I can not even play anything and we still will win. Speed still goes up. My evasion is also 22. So that's something. 24 at this point. <laughs> These guys appear and they're like, yeah, I guess you're those. By the way, because I have so much attack, it seems like I'm doing double strikes. I'm not sure if you see it, but it seems like I'm attacking twice damage. <laughs> For 15! Already pre-upgraded. Already pre-costed. Okay, I think we can throw away the tranquility. <laughs> Let's go pick up the other card and then we're gonna go to question mark. It's already here. Instantly everybody died. We are too strong. I, I did not expect this uh, to be so broken. I think it's the curse. Like, I I'm getting this curse relic for the first time and it, it, it seems to be the most powerful one. Look at this. Like, the double for 50% more cost, just using more, getting everything twice. It's, it's insane. So... Instead of paying 20, instead of paying 20 energy to get the stats, I pay only 5 more. Look, instead of paying 10 more to get the same stats, I'm paying 5 more. I don't know how to explain this, how good this is. I wasn't fast enough once again. I mean, the game didn't let me. Let's continue. Let's get the new card. Let's see what the last card is. Let's start open up with a gamble. Uh, let me play, please. No, don't one shot this guy. I have 128 energy. No, 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 I could have paused, by the way. You know what? Next fight, I'm gonna pause if this happens. Damage 20%. Dead instantly. Dead instantly. What is this? Increase all damage. Yeah. Congratulations. No, none of the team you are on is gonna do anything. How many healings did I roll? I could have paused, as I said, but honestly, I don't think it really matters. Let's see the new card. It's gonna be throw hand, 100% damage per card. All in, throw hand. Okay, so for 30 damage, throw your hand. Each thrown card inflicts damage equivalent to your attack stat. For 30 damage, remove... Nah. It's a nice idea, though. It's a nice idea. Me also doing damage, you know, not only my main character, but also the hands. It's like the first spell-like effect that the game gave us. Literally. Wait. So here, he's alive. I can play cards. Play cards. Draw another one. Draw another one. And then end the round. I can do that. I want to see if it's uh, worth it. Where's my... Oh, it's here. We're going to go to question mark later. Here, here, for example. You know what? I want to do this. So I'm going to do, for example, this, 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 this. Okay, I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna do it when I have 100 plus energy and I don't want to do it, okay? <laughs> but I want to do this thing. I want to be able to use a thousand cards. Instantly died. <laughs> Instant death. Man, I'm, I'm, I am too powerful. What is this? Ignores half damage, ignores evasion. Yeah, well, 
Ignore half damage is dead. He tried. He tried to take half damage. He tried. Evasion is at 34%. Pretty decent. I don't even need healing anymore. I'm too powerful. I'm too powerful for you guys. Oh no, increase the damage the opponents do to us. Oh no. Oh no, we got hit once. Oh, that was a lot of damage though. We got hit for a lot. Uh, let's go into... I don't think I want to explore everything. Let's just go to this event. What is this? 53 difficulty rating. Is this Ashura? What happened to him? Stand back, human. No one shall spoil the shrine as I stand. I just want to pay my respects to the local spirit. Back off or I shall crush you. I won't. I'm gonna destroy it then. Done. It's done. The boss is over already. I evaded. <laughs> Uh, instant kill the boss. I even evaded the one hit it did. Imagine if the boss did like 200 damage and we died there were the editor on the spot because of difficulty 48. Oh, if it last, you may seem a shrine. The spirit will probably want to thank you. You may see the shrine. Oh, thank you. Oh, th thank you for allowing me to see the shrine. As if the previous owner that did not allow me dissuaded me at all. Like, I, I would have killed you if you didn't say that. Uh, you, you should say thank you for not killing me. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, look at that! A protector! Of course, a mere human could hardly have held against the Shura, let alone created one. Do you know what happened to yours? I know they are supposed to guard the temples and shrines, but they're usually not that aggressive. My guess is that... It, I'm not... I'm gonna stop this race. My guess is that this uh, has probably something to do with the Great Wiper of Spirit. It takes a power like his to bend the will of the Shura. I'm not sure what maddening him thought, though. Spirits like me are just big enough not to be submitted to the will of the wait. Are just big enough to not be submitted to the will of the greater ones, but still too small to take part in their affairs. Ah, I see. So you're just not my control. That's what I get. I see. Thank you for the information. Anyway, wait. Don't leave them me so fast. Take the summoning card. I may not be the great warrior spirit, but I still have some influence on the war in the world. You know the saying about fighting fire with fire? I think the same can apply when it comes to fighting water. Yeah, it is not really, no. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Slow enemies. It's a new card. Uh, I don't really need it. <laughs> Imagine if I do actually need it. Is there any black spec? No. Uh, do I want to clear every single fight? I don't think I need to. Like, I'm missing this, 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 these three. I think I'm not missing that much. Like, a few of a few others. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to the boss. Let's go to this, whatever this is. Most likely the final boss. Absorbs half the heals. I see what it does. It gets one shot. That's what it does. Speed is still going. I got hit? That guy hit me? Are you crazy? Maybe this is needed for the final boss. Let's see. Whoa, this looks awesome. Whoa, look at what you got here. A protector in flesh and bones. Well, it's not like we're actually made of flesh and bones like the humans you serve, but you get the spirit. Tell me before I send you back to your little temple. Why cometh thee in this place of mine and destroy my slumber? I'm walking weird because he has a bunch of faces and whatever. Let me answer with a question of my own. What is the cause of your anger and the sudden burst of rage of the spirits? Man, I love that this guy actually asked the question. Like, this is... Uh, right now, I love this thing. Like, this thing happened here. This, this for once, at least, uh, some character says something that makes sense. Oh, this you figure out by yourself? No, no, you are stupid. This guy is okay, this guy is stupid. You figure this out by yourself? This is like uh, when, when, when your father or your mother says, You know what you did. And you're like... 10 and you're like no i don't please tell me no you know what you did what I, I want to learn from my mistakes what do you mean you will figure it out by yourself it may take another one or 200 years but you'll see and you shall understand them just tell me tell me just explain man don't i hope it's not something stupid like the people came along and built railroads and now the spirits don't have forests anymore and instead of trying to integrate with the new technology we're actually fighting it but for now, let's take care of you. You seem to be aware of your journey. Let me provide you with some refreshments. And he's dead. Or I'm gonna die. And he died. <laughs> Guys, you're not gonna cut it, man. None of your is even gonna attack once. Oh, look, the boss is back. It has half health. Dead, dead. 
Are you gonna strike me or are we gonna chillax here? Okay, he's gone with this much health. Uh, I think, first of all, this graphic glitch thing is from the game in case you think that something is wrong. The game did this. Tell me, what do you think you're gonna do? Explain to me. You died, that's what you're gonna do. Is this a power-up phase or what are we looking at? I'm still using my cards here. Still using my cards. Oh, it is actually the water spirit. Did I free him or am I gonna fight him? Well, that was indeed refreshing. Thank you, Wanderer. Thank you for washing away with this madness in which I was engulfed. Okay, fair enough. He was mad. Fair enough. With all my senses recovered at last, I can give you some of the answers you seek. Thank you. Okay, I take back what I said from the previous one. He was just a bad guy. To begin with, while it was indeed I who was behind the lesser spirits unrest of the water plains, I'm not responsible for the turmoils of the rest of the world. As for the reasons of my anger, that is the consequence of the grand spirit of balanced deeds. He who rules the spiritual and natural world. His water grew ever, ever stronger recently. Wrath grew ever stronger recently for reasons that I am not unaware of. But of these reasons, I will tell you nothing. Okay, I hate you too. Forget it. I hate you too. For reasons that I'm not unaware of, but I'm not gonna tell you. Hey, hey, hey. No. This is not a truth that should be told, but one that should be experienced by yourself to comprehend how such a situation come to be. You know what? I can just sit here and wait for two hours or three hours or five hours for you to explain to me. Well, like, what? <laughs> I hate scenarios like this. I know, but I'm not gonna tell you. What I will tell you, though, is that as you are probably aware of, the other three great elemental spirits also got subjugated by the Grand Spirit's devastating mood. If you want to reach him, you'll have to free these other old ones beforehand. It won't be an easy task, but I could be of some help considering the Great Fire Spirit and his minions. Take this card. If I hear its call, I shall summon the waters of the sky against the flames assaulting you. Extinguish all fire. Okay, I guess we got cards that are unique to whatever we're facing now. Good luck, Wanderer. May the waters guide thee. Are we done? Since the wind of change blowing once again in the water plains, you did it. You cast away the anger of the spirits in this area. Or to be more specific, I cast away the anger of the great water spirit who was driving the others to act well. Man, I, I, I love that. The protagonist is like a real person that asks questions and speaks normal. I like it. But he also told me that the reason on his anger and his turmoils of the other areas was the deed of the Grand Spirit of Balance, who is still protecting by the other three. What are you doing? What are you saying, man? You should not tell this to this guy. You should tell him. You have to explore it on your own if you want to be able to comprehend what is happening. <laughs> you should go out there and maybe attempt to die instead of literally learning the solutions to what is happening. I see at least you know what to do now. Even if the last bestowed upon you should... What? Even if the task bestowed upon you should seem harder than... Right, but you're wall spirit, blah, blah, blah. He had strange words about me. And he alluded something about the truth that I should experience by myself. What do you think of that? He's stupid. Hmm. I know one... I'm no one to discuss the world of an old one. Okay, he is stupid. Uh, anyway, I should tell you to head over the Red Forest to seek the Great Fire Spirit now that you have the powers of water on your side, but unfortunately the path is still under construction. Meta aspect. This is where the demo ends. <laughs> Perfect. The what? The only logical person in this whole thing. Expect, uh, except we have something else for you. By beating the boss, you unlock the first simulation world. Wait, what? The simulation is a special mode where you're able to replay the worlds you completed with custom rules. Have fun! Oh, I want to see what this looks like. Before you go on, just a quick message to say a really big thank you for playing our game and tell you that if you wish to get the latest news about the game or share your feedback, you can follow us on Twitter or join the Discord. Click on the picture on this link. I just wanted to close the message. Okay, uh, by the way, Dev, if you watch this and if you're here and if you enjoyed this, you can comment down below pointing out that you're the Dev and I am going to pin your comment, you know, at some point when I see the comments. And realize that, oh, it's the devil that's in this comment. So if you want to tell anything to everybody watching, then just do that. Uh, let's go into simulation. Uh, go or simulation? Let's go simulation. Ooh. E speed. FTL. <laughs> FTL. This is win. Win more. Hardship. Path of pain. Stroll. Adventure. Let's go with path of pain. Rule one. Boosted enemies. No merchant limit. No merchant limit. Let's go. Free roaming. Enemies respawn. No rule. 
boosted enemies for no merchant limit rule two boosted enemies free roaming enemies respawn no rule enemies respawn rule three free roaming what is free roaming it's free roaming that you blink by the way um why is boosted enemies here and free roaming something happened here you cannot have more enemies and whatever the world what does this even mean i guess we only have the water world right now and enemies Oh, I can make sure we only have statues. <laughs> Whatever. What does this look like? Oh, it's just the world. Okay. And then you play the game normally. Well, I want to just see how fast FTL... Uh, uh... Okay, it's pretty quick. We pretty much got infinite energy already. Okay, this obviously doesn't even make sense to play. I'm bugging out the game here on purpose. Uh, this doesn't even make sense to play, but um, yeah, it exists. It is what it is. We're not going to play this. Let's quit. And let's end this here. Um, yeah, I think the game is fun. I enjoyed it very much. I hope you guys did too. If you did, drop a like, subscribe on the channel, also the algorithm, etc, etc. And um, yeah, if you want to play it, as I said, it's a free demo right now, so you can play it. I hope I upload this in a timely manner, but as far as, as I'm seeing my time right now, I think this is going to be uploaded at, I don't know, 11, 12. Like, it's going to be a pretty late upload. And uh, yeah, anyway, I, as I said, enjoy the game. It's fun. You can play it too for free. Demo down below. And uh, if you if you like something or hated something on it, just comment down below. Tell me about it. Even if it's just my playstyle, you know, it, it doesn't have to be about the game. But if you enjoyed or hated something about the game, just comment down below. I'm pretty sure the dev will also look into the comments. Most of the time they do. And uh, maybe they care about this. And uh, I'm also caring about what opinions of others are. So I have like an idea. Maybe somebody's like, yeah, I played the game. And uh, actually defensive build is insane, but you didn't build it well or whatever, you know, anything told. Uh, let me reduce the music here for a moment. Ooh. So, anything told here and said to me, uh, I'm reading all of the comments. I mean, I'm not responding to most of them, but I do read them. And um, yeah, as I said, comments about anything like my playstyle or my talkative style or anything, you know, whatever you want to tell me, I'm, it's going to affect what I'm doing. So, your, uh, your opinion matters. And uh, I think that's going to be it for the day. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the game, as I said. I, I have high hopes for this game. I hope it launches in, I don't know, two, three months, maybe one month. I, I hope it launches pretty close, although we, I, we are still in alpha 0.20. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if, if you see like this outline around here, um, it's not on me, it's from the game. As you see, the, the game's mouse exists in this outline. So this outline is part of the game, in case you thought I did not center it correctly, because <laughs> it was weird for me too. And here, race in alpha 0.20, so I'm pretty sure they are very far away from launching this game. But if they're not, let's hope that it launches quickly and uh, we have some months in our hands, you know. Uh, although I don't see that much, you know, and these uh, roguelikes, most of the time, I really love the fact that you can build up insane builds with relics and stuff. But um, I don't see how much you can build up in this specific one. Because, you know, it's right now the only thing that you can build up seems to be damage, attack speed, defense and evasion. And uh, then you can have up to one relic. I guess you will have a second relic later. Uh, in the beginning, I hated the fact that you cannot pick up from both merchants, but then I realized that it's not exactly that. It's you can either go for the downside merchant or you can or the cursed merchant or the normal merchant. Because I will assume that if the game was normal, you know, if the game had more to go, you will still retain the relic you had. And then on the second map, you find another merchant and then you are locked into your choice. So you either go always dark side or you always go light side. I would assume that's what it is. If that's what it is, then the idea might be good. Like, um, going for always dark side merchant or always light side merchant might be a fun idea, but I think it's... It always feels bad, you know? Most of the time, I, I prefer systems that are like, if you only have cursed relics, then this happens. Like, you have an upside of having only cursed relics. While if you only have light relics, then this happens. You have an upside to having only light relics. For example, if you have only... The simplest example, for example, would be that if you have cursed relics, then you, you do more damage. And if you have only light relics, then you have more health, or you have more defense, or you have more key regen, or... I don't know, maybe Dark Relics fill your ultimate meter faster and only Light Relics fills your key faster. Something like that. You know, it's just a sim simple buff that makes people say, okay, I'm gonna go only Light Relics because I want the free buff. Or I'm gonna go Mixed Relics because I don't care about any of the free buffs and I care more about Relics. You know, that that's like my opinion. In general, I like, you know, being insane and powerful and stuff. Uh, but just because it would make us insane doesn't mean that the game cannot get balanced around it like you might say yes if, but if you go both relics then you might be broken and if you go only single relics then you might be broken and stuff like that yeah broken is only relative to what the game plays right i'm only talking about feel bad and feel good moments here and uh, i i think it would be more fun 
to go to the dark relic merchant and then he would say you you have a light relic if you pick up a cursed relic now you will never be able to access the true light or something like that and then you have to choose do i want to go with the dark relic too or do i actually want to keep only being with light relics some or and the opposite also happens right if you're a dark side then the light side relic would be like um are you sure you want to pick up the light because you even though your path is dark you will never achieve your true power if you go or whatever i i don't know like Maybe even the cursed relic seller could say it, never pick up some light weapons because otherwise you will affect the powers of my relics. You know, stuff like that. In general, I, I would prefer that the aspect that the sell the shop told you, you know, the shop told you, uh, I'm not giving you a relic because it's going to mix up the powers. I would prefer if that was actually part of the game. And if you pick up the relic, then it does actually mix up the powers, you know. Or even give us a downside from picking... I mean, I, I like power creep and I like being broken. That's why I said it would be nice to get a buff. Because in general, it's better to incentivize people to um, only use one thing to get buffed than dissuade them by saying if you use both, then you will get debuffed. But uh, I mean, even that I think would be better than just straight up saying the person, the people to the player that nope, if uh, you, you cannot, you, you choose the dark side, you're dark side only now. It's, um, it's always fun to be able to have access to both sides. Either by having downsides by choosing both, or the better version is having upsides by choosing only one. In my opinion, obviously my humble opinion here at the end. And uh, I, I stuck on this, by the way, because it's the only thing that I didn't like in the game. You know, most of the time that's what I'm doing in all of these games. I'm in general a negative person, so I get stuck upon a negative things more than on positives. But in general, I really like the game. Everything the game had to offer is something I like. The only thing I didn't like is this with the merchant, but I think it, it doesn't really matter. Like, it does not affect the good thing of that the game this is. And, um, yeah, maybe the other thing I didn't like... Uh, there were a few things I didn't like, right? Uh, like, I don't know. No, honestly speaking, I like most of them. Yeah, the only thing I'm not seeing is how this could become insanely replayable, right? Because there aren't that many builds right now. Other than the relics that might affect the builds, are you doing or not? I cannot see right now how this can be replayable, but maybe it becomes replayable later. Like, I have no idea. Maybe maybe you unlock the cards permanently, right? Because right now you do unlock the cards permanently. If I go into story mode and just play this again, I will have all the cards unlocked and everything on the map will be... Everything on the map will be healing shrines. So maybe the whole idea is you blast through the game once, pick up every single card, and then uh, you can start building up your decks from the get-go and then you're like, uh, today I'm gonna be a critical build or today I'm gonna be a stun build or I don't know what, because maybe there are other stats too. I mean, I think that is the best thing that could happen to this game. I had a bunch of stats like chance to poison, chance to burn, chance to slow, chance to things, 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 things. Make every, every one of those things chance style things and then uh, just, uh, you know, give us more stats. And then at some point, maybe, you know, make a card that says 5% chance to burn and then you have to pretty much use it uh, 20 times to get the 100% chance to burn and then you throw it out of the deck bring something else in the deck that would be nice right that would be nice having cards to quickly power up the character but uh, that's gonna be seen we have to see that we have to see we're gonna see what's gonna happen in the future and a uh, classic sift fashion here at the end i had like a five minute rant about things i don't know why i'm doing this all the time like the video was nice and snugly at the one hour mark and then i went ahead and continued talking but that's me and that's always gonna be me so yeah once again thanks for watching and see you guys around.